All right, in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about how to enhance eyes and mouth as part of your portrait retouching workflow. I'm here inside of Effects, and I've already added a skin retouching pane and adjusted my mask so that I could adjust the skin just where I wanted. I had a little bit of blemish and a little bit of smoothing. I evened out the skin color, and I even pumped up the saturation in the skin a little bit to make her skin a little more uh, rich and vibrant. Watch, here's the difference. There's before, and there's after. Now the next step we're going to do is we're going to, we want to go in and we want to whiten and brighten and sharpen the eyes and lighten up the teeth a little bit. I'm going to do all of this with adjustment layers using the local adjustments tools. So I'm going to switch from the overall settings tab to the local adjustments tab. And the first thing I want to start out by doing is lightening the eyes a little bit, the whites of the eyes. There's already a preset style for doing this. Click on the more button in the styles pop up and grab the one called the magic eye fixer. And this is designed to if you look at the sliders, the exposure is going to go up, so it's going to make it brighter. It's going to increase the contrast, and it's going to increase the detail. And now I'm just going to paint this in on the whites of the eyes and on the iris of the eyes. Now, keep in mind when I do this, I want to use a pretty low brush opacity. I'm using about 30, and I have a fairly good feather on it, so a nice soft edge. So now I'm just going to paint right here on the inside of the eyes, like so, and like so. There we go. I'm just going to toggle that adjustment on and off so you can see the before and after. So there's before and after. And I can control how strong it is by the opacity so I could paint in more if I wanted a stronger effect. Or I could decrease the effect just by grabbing the opacity slider and turning it up and down. Or if I want it stronger, I can adjust the exposure or the detail or the contrast sliders based on what I want to do. For me, that's a good start. The next thing I want to do is I want to sharpen and enhance the eyelashes. So I'm just going to simply add another adjustment layer. This time I'm just going to use the built-in detail preset. This will go in and it will sharpen. And I'm just going to paint that over just the eyelashes here. Like so. And like so. There we go. That looks pretty good. It really pops out the detail. One of the things I want to do though is I want to make sure that I'm really targeting just the dark tones in the photo because I want to make them deeper and darker. So if I click right here on the little gear icon, it'll open the blending options and I'm going to say apply to only the shadows. So now it won't add any to that detail adjustment or any of the adjustments I do in this adjustment layer to anything except for the dark tones. Now I can come in and I can make those even stronger if I want to. Maybe I'm going to grab the shadow slider. I'm going to pull that down to make them darker. I could even bring the exposure down a little bit. And that'll make the darks darker. So it makes the eye uh, lashes and the eyeliner look deeper and darker. Let me turn that on and off so you can see again before and after. So it really enhanced those eyes. I probably went a little too far with that actually. There we go. Or I could just grab that opacity slider and just dial in the amount that I want. There we go. The next step is the teeth. So again, add another adjustment layer. There's a style in there called the toothbrush. It's perfect for this. There we go. Again, low opacity. And now I'm just going to dab that on each of the teeth. It's kind of like when you go to the dentist and they polish your teeth, do the same thing. Just kind of one at a time, just kind of dab those teeth just to lighten those up. There we go. And again, on and off to turn it on and off. And use the exposure slider to control how strong the adjustment is. And there's a saturation slider you can use to also pull out some of that stain color too, just like that. So there we go. That's how easy it is to use the local adjustment layers to go in and enhance the eyes and the mouth. Thanks for watching.